Yo, what is going on guys? It's Kenny here back with another regional profile and today we got my good buddy Michael uh, Park getting his first uh, regional top with these pretty spicy deck in post uh, Cyberstorm Axis uh, format. Uh, so we'll let him t take away with the profile. Um, what plays do you get and what deck do you play? Yeah, I got top eight at the Santa Clara Regionals. Uh, I played Labyrinth, Furniture Lab, uh, Combo Lab, in other words. Uh, but yeah. Um, mm. yeah. Uh, do you have any shout outs before we start? Um, shout outs to Kenny. Uh, good friend, yeah. I got hella better at the game uh, by just watching his content. Uh, Yo, appreciate it. You gotta, you gotta sign up for his Medify. Uh, hey, let's go! <laughs> uh, yep. Shout out to Gatekeeper Discord, uh, Alex Pereira, Calvin, Brian, and yeah, just a lot of people I talk to about the game. So, Okay, cool. Let's get into the uh, deck profile. Oh yeah. Yep. So I played Lab. Um, there's, starting off is two Ariane. Um, Three Chandelier, uh, three Storby Torby, uh, three uh, So Lady, uh, one Lovely, and then one uh, Ku Clock. Oh, we gotta talk about the one Ku Clock. Uh, so one Ku Clock. Uh, this card is like in theory really good, where you can kind of discard and activate traps on your own turn, um, first turn. But in actuality, it's kind of a brick to open. Um, and if your engine gets stopped, so for example, if they have like Ash on your Big Welcome or Ash on your Welcome Labyrinth, this card is just really bad. Like you just minus a lot uh, just to get Ash. Um, but uh, once your engine gets rolling, you want to search this with the Ariane um, and then kind of just kind of snowball advantage by just being able to activate um, your broken traps on your opponent's turn that you just set. So that's why it's at one. Um, it's not good. It's not that great going second, like dropping this plus this to activate a trap on your opponent on turn zero is not a real play um, that just minuses and just plays into talents for no reason um, and it also gives uh, their ash value on their own turn which is like yeah something that you just don't want to do but once your engine gets rolling it's really broken so that's why it's just that one yeah i like that reasoning yeah so yeah and then uh with the rest of the engine it's uh three big welcome labyrinth um and three uh welcome labyrinth um these cards are really broken. Uh, once they resolve, start resolving, um, and you can kind of get all of these furnitures back into rotation, they become really strong. Uh, Big Welcome specifically, this is like the best card in your deck by far. Um, even if this card gets ashed, it still gives you a lot of value in the grave, um, where you can just bounce anything for free, even bounce your own cards to play on Imperm, um, and things like that. So uh, this card is, you always want to see both of these cards. Um, when I play the game, I just always turn one, try to set up with uh, both of these traps. Yeah. So yeah, that's kind of it, for at least for the engine portion of the deck. Yep. Um, this engine is like really strong. Um, once you start get ro getting rolling, it's like plus infinite. Um, but yeah, uh, with the non-engine, uh, I play three Pot of Extravagance. This card says draw two, so it's so <laughs> broken. Um, they're, they're either have to force to at either ash this or ash uh, your big welcome labyrinth um, and yeah that's kind of the only spells I play I, I don't play the uh, field spell I think that card's a brick um, and it's kind of it feels a little bit more because like once your engine gets rolling that's when you, your field spell gets value but uh, once your engine starts gets rolling you just kind of just win the game so yeah uh, so my deck uh, is a little different uh, we played a lot of hand traps compared to like normal lab um, I think hand traps right now are like super strong um, so we kind of played uh, a large breadth of it so uh, starting off we played three nib uh, three ogre um, three gamma driver um, and three imperm uh, these hand traps are all really solid um, gamma i think is one of the best hand traps in the format uh, imperm kind of helps you trigger lady on turn zero so in the end phase after you activate imperm you can uh, summon lady labyrinth um, to kind of start pushing Ogre trades with the body, which is something that this deck really needs. Um, and Nib, uh, Nib is okay. Like in the format, um, Nib is an okay hand trap. It's kind of good against like half of the decks. Uh, but I think in this deck specifically, Nib is really strong because you get to trade for a negate. Um, and because Nib activates in hand, there's actually funny interactions that you can do with um, these furnitures where you can do chain link one Nib. And if they don't have a response, you can chain link two furniture, discard the Nib. Um, and even if Nib got uh, negated, you can still get value by discarding it um, with this. And if they don't negate this and you discard it, you wipe the entire field. Um, they, you don't, they don't summon a token and this, uh, this doesn't summon. So it's just like 
dark hole on their turn. Yeah, I saw you trade this into a Baron, which is like so broken. It's so broken, yeah, because yeah. you <laughs> do this and you Baron negate, um, and then you just use the same card that they negated to get you a trap to use on your turn. So it's just really, really good value. <laughs> So yeah, the rest of the non-engine, um, we have three skill drain. Uh, this card's, I mean, it's so broken. Yeah. <laughs> uh, a lot Super of times, heavy, got no out. Yeah, yeah. A lot of times you open this plus the hand trap. Like even if they kind of set up like a half board, you just set this on turn two and then just kill them. Obviously going first, um, it's auto win a lot of times. Uh, this deck kind of loses the talents a lot. Um, so it, you kind of want to play cards like this to like really stop your opponent without um, triggering monster effects if you can um, so I, that card really helps out um, and then the two generic traps we're playing very little just because um, I think the point of the engine is to get these out of the deck um, with your lovely uh, lady or your lady and then I played Terrors of Low Root and then one Dogmatic Punishment um, I think these are the two most generic um, good traps uh, this is kind of good into everything you can uh, you know you can pop uh, what Super Heavy's uh, Link 1 and their scale uh, with Entis, and then this one's really good into cash. And also, um, if you use this on Wakashi, um, they actually don't set anything um, in their pen scale, so because it doesn't go to the grave. Yeah, we played it, and he did that to me, and yeah. I'm like, what am I What am I summoning? You're like, you can't summon. Hey, you're not summoning, you're not summoning. I was summoning. like, what? That's insane. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, uh, that, that's it for the trap lineup. It's, it's like very clean. Um, three subs, no, uh, no two subs. Uh, but yeah, no random one of no, yeah, no random yeah, yeah. one of for sure. <laughs> yeah, uh, so we can go into the extra deck. Extra deck, extra deck again. Um, so lad, this this um, deck is a little different. Where the extra deck is kind of relevant. Um, so starting off is three Chaos Angel. You're scaring the budget players. <laughs> <laughs> three Chaos Angel is a must of um, in this deck, uh, just because uh, this uh, any level eight plus Story Torvi makes this and it banishes, um, and this plus Ariane plus Lovely Lady is exact eight thousand. So a lot of times, like people will pass back to me, um, thinking that like oh like you can't kill me, but then I clear two cards with this and Lovely and then kill them that turn. Um, which is kind of crazy for Lab, and it's really facilitated um, with this card. And this card is also uh, not once per turn, um, so a lot of times you can use this in combination with Muckraker to activate this twice. So you, you use this, a uh, link into Muckraker, bring this back, and banish again. Um, and yeah, this card's like really broken. So, and then obviously Muckraker, um, these two kind of go together. Um, this helps you kind of find weird angles for gain um, by by honestly just changing the lady to attack mode. That's like what this is for. Um, so yeah, th these are the like must ofs. Um, Axel Baron, um, this is for Gamma on your own turn, which honestly, if you resolve Gamma on your own turn, it's straight up game. Like, you just can't lose. Um, and I actually did that to a cash guy round four and it was auto game. So um, yeah, you gotta play this package. Uh, one Omega, just because you're playing extra, uh, you just want like a uh, body you can make um, with the Gamma, if you Gamma on your own turn, um, and rip another card. But yeah, this never came up. Because you have extra deck space, two Link Rebo, uh, never got a bleed, so it didn't come up. And then these are your uh, Dogmatic Punishment targets, uh, the Tri-Brigade Link 5, um, the Guru at Descent, and then two Entis. Uh, probably should um, increase the three because uh, I actually banished two off extra and then one of my punishments had to dump like a random Chaos Angel. Um, and then the last two, these cards I never use, uh, Zombie Stein and Zeus in theory, this is to play, uh, make a big body with skill drain. And then this was just uh, the cash bait. They just always rip this from the extra deck. So yeah, this extra deck. Why don't you play more Entis for extra? Like that's that's a change I'm definitely gonna make. Um, <laughs> yeah. I, honestly, I didn't think I would banish it, but it came up that regional, so um, I definitely might cut like Zombie Stein or something for it. Yeah. Side deck. Um, this this is actually probably the reason why um, I did so well. I think just because a lot of game ones I'd actually lose, uh, but game two and three I kind of just take out my deck, um, replace the hand traps that weren't so great um, for for these cards. So. Uh, for side deck is three Magnuma and one Druis. Um, these cards are so broken. Um, I'm so glad that these are back, kind of that in the format, just because like if these cards like were good against full power tier Ishizu, 
um, deck. This card is just broken against Math Mech, it's broken against Branded, like, it's just a plus one. Every time I saw Magnum Butt, it's just the game's unlosable. Um, so yeah, and then... With, my favorite card. Yeah, literally. Yeah. So, <laughs> so broken. It's so broken. And then, um, the funny thing with these Bestials is that, um, you can actually bounce them back with Big Welcome Labyrinth, and it's just um. like, your opponent can't escape. Yeah, I was gonna bring that up. I saw you loop uh, this f infinite with uh, with big welcome, and it was like the guy could never play. Never play. He was just stuck. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, uh, with so with that, I played also three crow. Um, so as you can see, I didn't play Ash or anything. Um, so I wanted more cards for branded. Um, so I played set, uh, seven cards um, for that's just because I thought Ash wasn't that impactful and um, Crow is mainly there to replace Ghost Ogre or Nib in like these uh, weird matchups. Um, it's good against Purely, it's good against Super Heavy, um, it's good into Math Mech. So this was the card that kind of covered all three matchups and even Branded too. So I think generically this is like very strong. Um, so yeah, every time I saw this, I also won. I like this already because uh, I hate math mech. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. We, we never lose into math. Never lose to math mech. Yeah, we never lose into math You got to respect that deck. Everyone th thinks that deck is like kind of bad. No, no, no. That deck's scary. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so three card Ikura. Um, so this card actually was probably like one card that for sure change. It wasn't that great. Um, in theory, it's for um, cash when they kind of just go that low roll combo versus you. Um, but yeah, every time I saw this, it wasn't that great or I dished it off of um, one of the furniture. So I'll probably have to replace this. But in theory, in theory it's good. So um, yeah. Uh, so I played two Lord. Um, and with that, I play three traps. So I play Eradicator, um, Deck Dead, and uh, Deep Barrier. Uh, so Heavenly is just really strong going uh, first, but to be honest, I didn't really play a lot of uh, going first post game one with side. Um, so this didn't really come in, but this essentially helps you after your opponent pushes through your board, you can kind of set, uh, activate this as special and then. Uh, set an X trap so you can kind of uh, push back because that's kind of what this deck kind of struggles with if you get cut off from engine. Um, so this deck is a, or this card is something that your opponent has a hard time interacting with. Um, so we we'll definitely play that again. Um, the two viruses, these are just floods. Um, so your turn one combo, you can just set up one of these versus either um, this for super heavy, um, this for branded, um, and it's just like a blowout. And then also D barrier, uh, just a tech card for. Um, branded. Um, this came in against Branded. It was, it was super strong. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of for sure. That's it. Deck looks crazy solid. I really like it a lot. Damn. First stop, right? Yeah, first stop, first stop. All right, for sure. We'll definitely see uh, more of you, Michael. Congratulations. Thank you. All right, and I'll see you all next time.